This is the location where the Stonewall raid took place and where the first massive resistance to, to a police raid took place in New York City. Now things were quite different in those days. You didn't have a neon sign. You had a great big sign hanging that said Stonewall. In the days that Stonewall operated, this was just a blanked up, it was nothing. I don't remember anything being there. I think it was an unused storefront. This was the real, this is the real Stonewall. This is where you came and you knocked on the door and there was a little kind of slide thing here and they would look out and they would decide whether they wanted to let you in or not. And then you would go in here and climb up this rickety bunch of stairs and that would lead you to Above us, you'll see these windows. Those windows are actually where the Stonewall Bar used to be. That is the real premises of the Stonewall Bar. The Stonewall Bar came into activity after, uh, after the, the events of Stonewall itself. So the, the liquor license didn't even exist in those days. This was a bagel shop for about 10 years and then it turned into the Stonewall Inn and since become a landmark. So the real story is that you snuck in the door here, you went upstairs to a dinky little dingy hall, and you had fun with the finger snapping, dancing queens. It was the last dancing bar in New York City. And that's probably another reason why people got really mad when they tried to shut it down, because it was the last dancing bar in New York City.